What's up everyone? I figured we could do another car pocket dump. So last night I was carrying the Primordial MK3 from Adam Purvis. A Purvis Blades. I love that all black look, carbon fiber, and then that pop of the color with the Damascus. That is the pocket clip and backspacer. Um, one really cool thing about this knife that I like is when it's clipped in my pocket and I look down, you can just see the layers of the Damascus. Probably can't see it with how I have the camera angled, but you can see all the layers and I just love looking down and seeing that. It's awesome. Um, but I figured as well. Oh yeah, and of course, Nixon. And what else did I have in my pocket? Pen light. Um, but I figured also when I was leaving the house, it was my fifth night in a row. So of course I was dragging, but I got some mail. So, I'll do a mail call as well. Let me flip it that way. Here we go. Um, last night, kicked my tail. But, you know what? That's okay. That's what we're here for. I've been uh, charging a little bit more on the unit. So, I guess you could say I'm the one in charge on the unit floor. But, uh, yeah. We were pretty busy last night. So, just remember, hug your loved ones tight. Always remind them that you love them. You never know what's going to happen. And in that same scenario, if there's a knife you really want, that you've been wanting for like three months, you only live once, okay? There's my nurse knowledge to you about that. But anyways, carry on. Mail call. I'll show the packaging here. Barrow. Oh, yeah. I really like Vero's full-size pry bars. I'm not opposed to their minis. Um, they're pretty cool. But uh, I really like the full-size. Um, for one, you get more area or more prying room. Um, obviously, ooh, that's really neat. It's like a stonewash purple. Obviously, the longer the pry bar is, the easier it is to actually pry something. You have more space and room there. I really like that. Yeah, this purple one is so sweet. And then it comes with a Phillips and a flathead bit. Um, but you also, it also comes with a T6 and a T8, which is easy to use. And best part is the candy. Love this stuff. But I really like this purple pry bar. Purple is my color, I'm telling you. Purple has been my favorite color for as long as I can remember. So... Might as well get knives with that, right? All right, let me put this one up and then we can move on to the next. Oh yeah, and then just inside here, you get an extra, two extra O-rings and then the, the bits there. Um, so it's really nice. Um, if I go on vacation or something, I always make sure I have a Vero pry bar with me because if you need to do any knife maintenance, it's right there. It's kind of like a, a two-in-one combo there. I don't know what my hair's doing, lordy. Um, anyways, let's open the second one. I'll give you a hint. It's very similar. I really like the, the Bowie blade on this A-Purvis as well. The MK3 is one of my favorite models. One of my favorite knives. Um, if Adam ever decides to release this again, maybe it'll be the MK4. Highly recommend. Just love how smooth it is. I love the clip. I've already mentioned that. You have your hole, which really more of like a, a slit here. Um, just makes it super simple for middle finger flicking, my favorite deployment method. And this is just on the um, factory bearing because this is not skiff or anything. And it's just got that nice, smooth, controlled action. So yeah, love this knife. Um, and I was smart enough last night when I knew I was about to transport a patient. I took it out of my pocket, unclipped it, and threw it in my pocket so the... Damascus wouldn't get scratched because I'm all for using your stuff, but if I don't have to mess it up, I won't. So then I just throw it in my pocket and then it doesn't bang on the bed frames, but that's how I keep it looking pretty. But anyways, can you tell this is after my fifth night? I'm kind of all over the place with these, with this video here. Bam, another one. Why did I order two pry bars? I don't know. Ask Kaylee at 3 a.m. on her downtime why I order the things that I do. But I'm really excited about this one. I ordered this one first, and then I just couldn't help myself. Oh, I couldn't help myself. 
I just really like the purple, but bam. Look at that Damascus. I think he 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 made um a slight change to his Damascus. Joseph and Michelle. It was a great move because this Damascus clip has so much blue and purple in it. I just I freaking love that. Look how shiny that is too. Way shinier. Um I was deciding between the stone wash with the Damascus clip and the uh, DLC with the Damascus clip, but I already have a DLC pry bar that was a gift from Joseph that he laser engraved on the back. So I decided to have a little variety, and I have a lot of titanium stuff, so um, I like to match up my carries when I can. Um, if you have an Instagram account, I post almost pretty much every day on there. I post a little bit more frequently on Instagram just because it's easier to do with my work schedule. Um, for YouTube videos, it takes a little bit more time for me to make. So, uh, yeah, give me a follow. It's Carrie every day. But you can see the other pry bar that, uh, from Joseph. That's the black one. It's really cool. So, that's why I went with the stone wash and the Damascus. That is awesome. I really like that. So, ooh. Little match up there. Nice. I like that. That looks awesome. It's got a very similar pattern for these two. With the color scheme. Nice. So, as I mentioned, this has the Phillips in the flathead. But also in the case has the T6 and T8 bits. And there's one other bit in there. I always just use the T6 and T8 usually. Um, oh yeah, and I also ordered these little o-ring thingies from their website so now i can make my pry bar colorful if i want so that's pretty cool they have that available and i figured probably should show you how this works as well so you have your pry bar you have a pretty thin end there so you can get under a lot of stuff it's long titanium and like i said you have these bits right here so you slide these o-rings off Like that. And then these come loose. Or you can keep the O-rings on and just kind of pull it out. But I'd rather just take it off. Then you have this end right here. So say you need the Phillips head. You plug that in like that. You see how it stays in there. And then bam. Now you have a pretty good leverage and lengthy tool. So that's how that works. And then when you're done, you just throw them back in the slot and put the O-ring over them to hold it in place. So yeah, very neat design. I really like it. I usually throw these in my pocket. I actually don't use the clip a lot. I don't know why. I just throw it in my pocket or uh, I really want to get a little leather slip for this. That'd be really easy too for pocket carry. But yeah, that's how they work. That's the mail call, and this is what I carried last night. This is a really good size for EDC for me as well. This is currently um, unavailable. Um, with what Adam does, he releases his knives. He'll do pre-orders and drops, and then once he sells out, he usually moves on to another design. So um, these are currently unavailable unless you got one on the secondary market. But I really love this knife. It's really awesome. And you have your slits here. I just think it looks cool. So yeah. That's the car pocket dump. I will probably go inside now and take a nap. And then I'm going to wake up and go to eat with my friend. And we'll probably go to uh, a nice little craft beer joint um, later on tonight. To reward myself for making it through five days. Um, but yeah. I don't know. It's just on my mind heavy. It was a rough night at work. No problem. This is when I wish I did wear an Apple Watch so I could have seen how many steps I took. But I say all that to say, hug your loved ones tight. Buy that knife you want. Try to be a good person. That's my biggest uh, my biggest goal in life is to just try and be a nice and good person. Um, we all have those moments, you know, when we get stressed out or whatever. But for the most part, I want people to remember me as a nice and good person. So, that carries knives. That carries badass knives. So... Let me know in the comments if you liked the mail call.
or if you have a Vero pry bar. And let me know in the comments, do you have any cool mail calls? Did you get anything cool in lately?